Hello guys, so today's topic is how to make poster and the bonus point of this is the tips to present the poster which you have made in a best way possible to investigate it in 3 minutes. Yes, you will be learning how to make the poster, you will be learning how to present your poster in the post presentation competition in the conference. Now this last the tip point will come at the end of the video with few minutes so don't skip the video and see it step by step. This one of our subscribers asked about how to make poster presentation so for that I thought why not make it right. Everyone all the students will have this question what is the best way possible to make a poster and, and to win that conference um, award as a first prize second prize for this poster presentation for that poster presentation right everyone will be having that enthusiasm so today we'll be learning about that so anyone any of the student who is watching this video who has already a data but they don't know how to present that in a poster form or they know but they don't know the best way to make it in such a way that they win that okay so 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 those type of people can also see this video okay let's get started so number one you will be having is see there are three types of posters now i am assuming that most of them have went to the conferences they have been to a conference where posters are presented by various people you might be observing that posters are generally uh, being presented in a certain way like certain numbers are allotted certain place that this number candidate has to present here like that this type of size of the poster will be there different departments each department will have numerous number of posters with different different topics right so you might have observed that there are different types of topics did you realize there is this different type of presenting a poster the poster presentation is different so so first of all let us learn there are three types of posters so one a one poster is research oriented the other posters will be case study oriented and the third one will be theoretical oriented now in a conference a large variety of students will be coming and they are presenting their posters. So if a student who is having, who is done a PhD, okay, or who is in a final year of their master's degree, because in conference, a number of students from different, different backgrounds will be coming, right? So they, those students, they will be presenting depending on their research or a case study, like that or a person who is a student who is a beginner they want to have an exposure to this uh, type of competition of post presentation they want to have that exposure so they because of lack of practical exposure they will be using theory right so this orientation of poster will depend upon which type of data they have okay we will talk about how to present a poster depending on the type of whether it is research oriented how you will present if it is a case study found the people in hospital you will be going you will be collecting a case report you might have found the very nice case report where you have done intervention or something which you want to share it with other people to share the awareness or to avoid and overcome such repetitive problems within the profession and like that right so then you want to present how you will present and if a student who, who are found you or a BFM who is a first year beginner they want to just have an exposure how they can present a theoretical form of poster now please uh, be genuine justifying just ask yourself now who might win a poster uh, whether a research oriented person a poster case study report poster or a theoretical poster this thing obviously research oriented why how much time does it take between all these three? The largest duration of time it takes the blood set to collect the data, research, right? So in a conference, if you are if you are like uh, presenting a poster of a case report, now there is an another scenario where everyone is sharing a case report 
everyone is sharing a theoretical presentation or everyone is sharing only research papers now it depends on the uh, you know is the huge the conference level like ipc huge conference there mostly all research people only will be publishing or a po po presenting a poster right so that's if it is a college like 80% will be students uh, first year second year everyone then the objective of the college is make the students uh, get the exposure of post presentation right so everyone will be presenting and the one who will be winning will be the final year person why that was because they have done certain research oriented post so imagine now i want you guys to prepare your mind before itself because yeah see if you are doing a research oriented poster in that 10 people have done research oriented based poster then your poster should win if for that to happen what things you should do that is the way to i'm trying to tell the best way possible to win okay so that is the same but if if i am telling you directly that it is a re, if you are doing a, one person is doing research oriented poster other is case study report theoretical oriented poster third person the invigilator will give the weightage to research oriented poster itself i am telling you before only okay so who will win the research oriented post but that doesn't mean you should not involve if you do not have uh, done any research no 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 i am not saying that you should be involved because i'll come in later stage you should learn how to sell your intel how to sell the way you have the way you sell your product that has more weightage how to attract the grab the attention of the invigilator within the few minutes or one minute two minute three minutes how to convey you for example there are so many people who have so much efforts in making a poster and the data they have collected took one year six months two years for them but if you are not able to sell your product to the invigilator within one two minutes see everyone will get only those fraction of seconds to convince the invigilator that your product is the best right so to that ha happen you have to learn how to present it so number one stage for all the students who want how to press how to make poster that i will tell and in last how to present it so who will win taylor swift is my favorite uh, i hope you guys too so if when you are winning that i want you guys to have that encouragement to move forward do certain research or do find certain case reports overcome the challenges and make it happen that confidence will come automatically okay i want to boost your encouragement let's come to next slide okay so the next part of the poster is title so first of all the title of the poster should be a direct direct what you want to convey to the audience it should be direct it should be short it should be in like more not more than 10 words it should be in minimum at a certain range then the third one is it should be attractive the title should be attractive and it should have certain hook up points like hook up hook up points means the title should grab the attention of the audience If for example i am telling you one thing during the conference now you have kept a poster right at the first of all, first itself the english letter will not come students or certain uh, teachers staff members or few people from other places other colleges they will come they will roam around they will see your poster they will read like standing in front of you you should move ahead you should start the conversation yeah do you want to uh, allow do you, will you allow me to present my poster if it is fine for you just tell it practice that have a warm up and five students 10 people like more okay no 3 to 10 people if if you keep on telling you will be warming up yourself so that when the invigilator comes the time when the invigilator comes you tell everything whatever you, what you have to tell i'll tell okay afterwards but you will be warmed up to tell the invigilator in the best possible way within a shortest period of time because you have had a practice 
on other students okay you will find the reaction of those students whether they are uh, having interest of listening to me if yes they will listen keep on listening if they are not okay okay fine i understood they will go to other place then that time if that reaction of uh, not staying at the point when you are trying to say if their students are going that means you are not convincing them then how can you convince the invigilator think right so title of the poster is very important so it should be direct short and have hook up points now i'll tell an example without example theory is waste okay now this type of content it was not found in youtube that's why i thought to make it i will only make the video which of the data which is not available in youtube for our students so for our students right so example for a hook up like relationship between pancreatitis and hypocalcemia now is it having a hook up grabbing the attention of the audience right yes so why i have taken this title only is because see i have told there are three types of poster present orientation right like they are based on type. one is research based one is case study based one is theory based for research based for case study based title formation is very easy but for theory because it is a theory why you have chosen that topic being a theory why you have chosen at least title has to be attractive so that's why i have used an example of a theory uh, like this okay you should make a poster of a theory for which is very rare though the data is there but you can we are failed to interlink people have failed to interlink between the two situations and you have found that through your literature search through your research though that it was theory that's why it is having certain importance that's why you have kept so much effort to make a poster right so poster it takes your time your money your stress right you will be making it all those things for what for what right so keep that in mind and make a poster now in title of the poster if it if your poster is a research based if your data you have is a research based then an example is like you have to have a title where you are showing your methodology that whether it is a prospective study or a retrospective study. then whether it is an observational or interventional study on what in tertiary care or secondary or primary care healthcare center where so what type of study it is it has to be mentioned within the title it should be direct this way it will be direct short and it will be attractive okay if anyone is interested for those type of uh, disease or that thing they will have more attention so for a research based study the methodology has to be mentioned in the title whether it is observational or intervention that has to be mentioned right now type 2 title one second now for type 2 type of uh, data set that is for case reports so what should be the title how should be the title so here an example i have given a case study on dash 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 and reporting the medication errors and drug interactions or another example a case study on dash and reporting the dash right so it is simple short direct right next come to the theory i am trying to give more and more examples for theoretical based posters because most of the students are the beginners of poster presentation they will be making only theory based right so an example for theory based poster what can be the title hook up points should be there like study first studies on millet nutrition is it a healthy grain is, is it not interesting i felt very interesting i will come visit the poster what it is all about we everyone know millet nutrition but is it a healthy grain how which type of question is it yes obviously i thought it was a healthy but is it not that thinking has come through this title right next another example diagnostic advancement in early tb detection another do angioplasty heart stent procedures work now how it can be hook up Didn't everyone know that angioplasty, heart stent, generally, 
done by the doctors because it was doesn't it work is there any problem that thinking has come to the audience so this type of hook up titles should be there especially for the theory okay next next come to next slide i hope you are liking it now parts of the poster after the title you have decided then come to parts of poster now another question another tip i want to give is that if you are unable to decide a title it's fine sometimes majority of times with me what happens i decide the title after i have kept all the data after i collected the data i decide what title will be the best so it can be an opposite first you do the sections decide the title later or you can start with the title and then go with the section whatever the flow which comes just go through that but these things has to be in your mind the title it should be short sweet direct and having a hook up point right next parts of poster now past of parts of the poster that is sections of the poster will vary based upon again the type of source of the data whether it is a research based data whether it is a case report or it is a theory okay now for research based poster following things should be there like in a poster like abstract methodology conclusion keywords purpose or objective you can say introduction materials and methods discussion conclusion limitation and bibliography now i'll go one by one like what it is exactly what they are trying to say okay for uh, okay one after other now if you come abstract now i'll come within a minute about the importance of abstract what it is okay abstract then comes methodology so now in methodology you will be having like how you executed the study and type of the study type of the study is whether it is an observational interventional retrospective prospective cohort now the this type of studies i am not uh, telling here in the presentation because we are talking here about how to make a poster method if you want to know the methods of doing a research of your data collection let me know in the comment section i will make another video where i will be talking about type of different types of study methods right so in methodology we will be talking about like how you executed the study types of the study duration of your study and the categories okay so those will come in methodology conclusion it will be that is it should be if it is a reason because we are talking here about research so it should be in percentage forms this 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 in percentage form it should be in a small gist then the keywords will be like what are the important key terms which have been in present in your article or a poster right those keywords you are be using then will come purpose or object what was the purpose of doing your research that info you have to keep here right then will come that is why you wanted to do the research then comes like introduction and you all know what it is you have to key what it is all about if not taken care of of that problem what may happen okay then uh, why who are affected most because of this problem demography gender therapy plan etc those things you have to keep okay next comes is materials and method now here you will have to keep like where you have the study has taken place how that study has taken place duration of that study inclusion and exclusion criteria now even protocol has inclusion exclusion criteria so here materials and methods you have to keep these things okay then comes about discussion in here in discussion we will talk talk about like what happened at the ground level at the actual place what happens actually how for example how the treatment plan is then flow chart if possible i suggest keep the data as much possible in a flow chart form on a graphical representation so that the space taken in the poster will be less it will be neat sweet and short okay because the first time the person is looking at a poster they should easily understand it if you keep all paragraphs paragraphs no one will have an interest to read it or even look at it okay it should be uh, visually very clean neat and make the other per second person 
to look at your poster okay so that thing should be there so duration of the study and all those things we'll talk i'll tell more about it in detail in later words okay then comes conclusion and uh, like the gist the small conclusion then limitations of your study of your research see when you are telling any now it be practical okay when you are talking everything good about your research no one no study is perfect right you have to tell the limitation of your study whether the sample size was less that's why the data provided was less reliable for example i am telling so certain limitations of your study if you show the credibility of your research will be shown more now here the content i am talking about the content of the poster it should be credible it will be credible only if you sh share both sides of the uh, research good how much reliable percentage of reliable if and the left percentage which is which not be credible enough is this limitation also now next is last bibliography c bibliography obviously so many places you have seen but don't take much space for bibliography because it is not useful just for the sake of the format you have to keep bibliography don't keep more don't give uh, more more links and uh, you know use at least those space of bibliography for few other things which you can keep and every time practically what happens is information is very much and uh, the present the space is in poster the size of the poster is small right so keep bibliography it is needed but don't uh, keep that much that uh, just keep 2 3 4 if space is more 5 but not more than that okay so that thing so i would suggest then comes is uh, i would suggest one second i wanted to say another thing i forgot yeah for this the theory based uh, abstracts or uh, anything just go to www.nutrition.org uh, okay i'll show you see in the youtube there there you will learn how to do literature search and find new things from the theory which is already existing i am recommending this to all the students because you will learn okay wow yaar so like that reaction will come you will get certain clues of how to you do literature search and find certain new things to the theory wait a second i'll show just go to youtube and nutrition dot org something nutrition facts dot org i think yeah so dr grigor his videos are very nice he will be explaining just see one video of him so just go with his any videos and you will love it you will see how he uh, does extract the data from the already existing one i have learned literature search how to pick up the information from him only okay so just go through that i wanted to tell it okay next one is for case based poster what can be the subsections introduction of case report your introduction for case based poster you will have to keep like why you are presenting this case report what is the justify your case report and introduction itself then in the case presentation give subject information like you, soap analysis you do right for case reports so and so person so on age certain department they got admitted so and so symptoms and all all the subjective information keep here then comes investigation what are the tests conducted what was the outcome patient was dead hbvc levels increased whatever okay that you keep outcome then you do discussion in discussion you can keep the tables what was given what medication was given what happened highlight that with the, the dose the treatment the dosing for certain uh, drugs you need to do dosing and then give right dose calculation if possible key practically everything should be present okay dose calculation and the errors if it is a table whatever the error medication whether it is a medicine itself 
or duplication of medicine or dosage error whatever error is there highlight it with the red one others with the black one in the treatment given table form dose calculation you can give all those in discussion conclusion is a small gist bibliography as i said keep little as much as little possible just for the name sake of formatting you have to give bibliography right next comes for theory based posters see for theory based also abstract i'll just in a minute will tell about abstract somewhat in detail why it is important also everything so abstract first keep keywords purpose and objective current data of theory new data which has come e possible in that new data current data another heading you can keep or no problem in that one only how two things are interlinked or how about your theory you mentioned give a conclusion and then bibliography that's it so that is for theory based poster now let's see what is abstract okay now abstract and it's important see if you are want to do a poster presentation in a conference this process you might be knowing and if you don't know just listen see if a conference has to be conducted you have to submit your abstract and keywords to the organizing persons email id whatever they have mentioned they will see all the abstracts they will screen them whatever are of certain good standard or they found it nice enough to be presentable enough to their organization uh, conference event standard then they will give you a return back email replying saying that your abstract has been accepted you 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 your number of candidate number is so and so this position you have to keep your poster already they will mention the size of the poster it should have because certain area it only is given to particular candidate a landscape horizontal they will give everything based on that you have to make your poster in horizontal landscape but i suggest make most of the times your post in a vertical format instead of landscape because it is it looks good psychologically i don't know why everyone likes the longitude vertical posters more than the landscape ones the horizontal ones i just prefer the vertical posters okay okay now coming to the abstract what it is okay now an abstract summarizes usually in one paragraph of 300 words or less so the overall 300 words or less now the major aspect of this entire one abstract will shall have overall purpose of the study and research problems you investigated design of the study major findings of your analysis brief summary of interpretation and conclusion now all these things has to be covered in one paragraph okay now put all this required information in less than 300 words generally it is 300 words but from conference to conference type of abstract the organizing conference event organizers will tell you the limit of abstract words okay so don't worry about that just to generally it happens to be 300 words or less than that right okay now there are types of abstracts okay so yeah there are types of abstracts there are four types critical descriptive informative and highlight abstracts so just for the knowledge purpose i am sharing because one should know there are types of abstracts okay now before going into types of abstracts i have to tell uh, just a common sense that see abstract allows you to elaborate upon each other's major aspect of the data which you have have and help the readers decide whether they want to read rest of your uh data or not that is the main objective of abstract you are keeping everything uh whatever the research is there in a few lines okay you know everyone has so many uh, pro projects so many research papers are published so many posters will be there so no one can read whole of your poster or article or anything right so in a short form a to z everything should be there clear enough 
<coughs> excuse me so that the audience will decide themselves right now like how do you uh, know when you have enough information in your abstract that doubt will generally come okay now a simple rule of thumb is to imagine that you are another researcher doing a similar study then ask yourself if your abstract was the only part of the paper you could access would you be happy with the amount of information presented there does it tell the whole story about your study now if the answer is no then the abstract is likely needs to be changed and it has to be revised right now how to write a research abstract now we will come i'll just now i'll tell but before that types of abstract i'll right now see in critical abstract uh, it provides in addition to describing the main findings and information a judgment or a comment about the study's validity reliability or completeness now the researcher evaluates the paper and often compares it with other works on the same subject critical abstracts are generally 400 to 500 words in length due to additional interpretive commentary now these types of abstracts are used free infrequently not common okay then comes to descriptive abstract now so the descriptive abstracts indicates the type of information found in the work it makes no judgment about the work nor does it provide the result or conclusion of the research it does incorporate keywords found in the text and may include the purpose methods and scope of the research now essentially the descriptive abstract only describes the work being summarized some researchers consider it an outline of the work rather than a summary so descriptive abstracts are usually very short 100 words or less okay so most of our conferences academic conferences are not descriptive they are informative now if you follow a descriptive abstract you are giving an outline only you are not showing your conclusion bhai why you have done the research what was the importance of your research how did you do it what was the duration why it is so important how it helped the society if all those informations are not there i don't think invigilator will be impressed by your research but okay so right am i right or wrong even the screen people will see all those things only in abstract and then select your project uh, your research they will say okay then only you will present so descriptive abstract please avoid okay then comes informative abstract because it is a competition right now informative abstract the majority of the abstracts are informative okay while they still do not uh, critic or evaluate a work they do more than describe right whatever i said before a good informative abstract act as a surrogate for the work itself it is a, it act as a savior for it, the work itself it tells why justifies why this uh, research was important now this is the researcher's presence and explains all the main arguments and the important results and evidences in the paper now an informative abstract includes the information that can be found in a descriptive abstract that is purpose method scope but it also includes the result and conclusion of the research and the recommendation of the author who has presenting the poster the length varies according to the discipline which field which department but an informative abstract is usually no more than 300 words in length okay so our main intention is informative abstracts only but for the awareness that there are types of abstracts you should be knowing i have mentioned here coming to highlight abstract now highlight abstract is specifically written to attract the readers attention to the study no pre, uh, you know pretense is made of there being either a balanced or a complete picture of the paper and in fact incomplete and leading remarks may be used to spark the readers interest now in that a highlight abstract cannot stand independent of its associated article now it is not a true abstract and therefore rarely used in academic writing it is used mainly for journals i suppose most of the time now this got a clear picture coming to next slide 
now how to write abstract writing style right now use number one use the active voice when possible but note that much of your abstracts may require a passive sentence construction regardless write your abstract using concise but complete sentence get to the point quickly and always use past tense because you are reporting on a study that has been completed right formatting abstract should be formatted as a single paragraph in a block format and with no paragraph indentations that is breakage it is a it is an abstract now in most cases uh, in general you should say be having the final sentence of an abstract concisely summarize your studies conclusion implication or application to the practice and if appropriate can be followed by a statement about the need for additional research revealed from the findings fine now so these are the things you have to keep in your mind like what things has to come in your abstract another tip is use the statistical findings as much possible because that is the ultimate to give clear picture right those statistical findings has to be given in parenthesis okay the abstract should not contain following things you should keep in your mind that it should the lengthy background or contextual information should not be there redundant phrases unnecessary adverbs adjectives and repetitive information should be avoided reference to other literatures say something like uh, current research shows that blah 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 or studies have indicated blah 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 should be avoided then using the ellipticals that is ending with two apostrophes or in incomplete sentence should be avoided then uh, the terms that may be confusing to the reader that are called jargons should be avoided citation to other works and any sort of images illustrations figures or tables or references to them should be avoided so this is a certain gist of things to be avoided while making an abstract why it is important the abstract how and why is it important that i have already told right coming to your next slide now example one for an abstract i am giving title this is my work so just i am giving see Eval uh, title evaluation of uh, medication adherence in type 2 diabetic patients in tertiary care hospital i have made a research on it and i have published it so that's why i am very free to share an example so that the student should learn how to make a title and an abstract now here in my title i have clearly stated what is this about it is about type 2 diabetes where in tertiary care hospital about what medication adherence right why where and for what these three things three w's i have mentioned okay so title should have certain the main intention is direct then comes the abstract now let us read it here i will divide uh, so that you can interpret now according to who medication adherence is defined as and for the extent to which a person a behavior in medication corresponds with a great recommendation from a healthcare provider and court who 2003 therefore medication adherence is one of the important factors helps in keeping the vital link between the treatment therapy outcomes in medical care taking adherence to medication is a major public health challenge this paragraph of the abstracts introduces it introduces my content my research as well as why it is important okay next para the aim of this descriptive study was to evaluate concordance with medication and those factors that affects the use of medicine in patients with diabetes mellitus and to investigate various factors of non adherence my objective the purpose of i have mentioned now methodology it is a prospective interventional study design which includes a questionnaire of so 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 and months six months duration methodology number of subjects mentioned right in this para and then at the time of first counseling so and so uh, participated subjects in the study now how i did the study duration of study percentage in terms i have mentioned everything you can read it 
then at the conclusion the last the study reported so 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 this way i have remember if you are presenting a poster that time you can make your abstract in paragraph wise but when you are sending the abstract for screening purpose keep everything in one para only okay right this is an first example let's see another example now title perspective observational study on therapeutic management of cell light is industry care hospital i told about methodology what type of study for what and where right research based uh, uh, these are all data sets from research so that's it. now coming to abstract in abstracts i have tell what is cellulitis why they there is an importance an uh, important time for us to realize the problems i have mentioned in first second paragraph methodology i have mentioned how did i do all the method i have mentioned right and in the last paragraph i have given the conclusion of my research so just read it it will save your time just keep a pause and read you will understand how to now you, i hope 100% that you know how to make an abstract okay you know how to make a title you know what are the parts of poster presentation poster to be made from the data set sub sections next coming to an example let us take another example for a poster line okay suppose you worked in a pharmacy for 6 months you found errors in prescription or a certain misunderstanding between patient and physician you found it as an opportunity to collect the data on this now this scenario why i am giving in is because every student see you should see you should see opportunities in your day to day life okay for the sake of making a poster you should not research data for the, but you observe oh this is this this is this how oh, wow nice i can do something with this like that process has to come so for that purpose i am giving an example so like this when happens for this is a case scenario what will you do what will you do now first thing is if you are you will either observe how many prescription errors are there what type of prescription errors are there okay whether it is med medication duplication dosage errors for what type of drugs which department having more prescription errors okay observational study or interventional whether you will be doing interventional observational interventional like you, you have found the error you are calling the doctor saying so and so patient prescription has come to our pharmacy so is so doubt is there so and so patient is saying like this i have feeling somewhat like this is solving the problem you have solved the problem now interventional so different entities you have found you have worked 6 months you have so much data you will be having right this way methodology this the methodology is through telecommunication if it is uh, you are talking with physician overcoming the problem it is an interventional study how but if you are just observing the errors not doing anything it is an observational study that so and so errors happen so many so this this type of departments right so study what type of study methodology you are having you have old data sets you will make pie charts graphs gender um, the differences how many errors happened in which type of gender what department and uh, drug duplication error percentage of prescription error or uh, mis patient uh, misunderstanding between physician patient regarding diagnosis uh, etc etc like that you, so many entities will form with the scenarios right so that is now you collected now as i have said now you collected the data how will you represent this scenario in poster following things we can think like which category of type of poster should be now this data will it which category it will come theoretical no it will not research based yes case study no it is not a case study in right it is not a case study format not one person not one thing right so theory okay it is a research based poster now you know okay research my data set is research based okay so these sub sections has to be here so then you will think 
because you have already know subsection by now you will know title so i think the title with the hook up point think what it can be and make four five titles then arrange them find the best one ask your friends or colleagues which one you find nice then you can decide about the depending on the percentage if you are unable to decide a title right then arrange your data in the following sections like keep flow chart graphical representation of like in pie chart form will bar graph linear etc wherever possible you have to keep okay so abstract you will keep that so and so number of um, uh, prescription errors happens in a day in india or in a global some demographic statistical data you find through literature search regarding prescription errors give that in uh, abstract and introduction then in abstract then you give study uh, why it is important to find prescription errors how to overcome it and then you tell about the methodology you have taken like observational or interventional study duration you tell statistics you mention conclusion you give that's it fine right so that is an abstract in that abstract only in other then then you come elaborate in other subsections like methodology mention more conclusion mention more keywords mention which are important purpose of your research introduction you give brief about prescription errors then materials and method what were your inclusion criteria for your research whom you included whom you excluded why those you keep on what parameters do you keep then discussion in discussion you can keep so and so prescription errors happened uh, then we have done so and so then we have elaborated we found out so and so any um, you can say clashes or confrontations between the two data you mentioned that at the end you give conclusion what are the limitations of your research whether a physician was intervened or not so that one if it is not that is one of the limitation i can say no bibli bibliography if required because right you can give because bi bibliography for this scenario for every drug what sources you have taken okay or for what diagnosis what what was the basis of your conclusions or valid credibility of your data those things keep that's it for did you able to understand how to make post i just gave a live example of making a poster if possible if you want to make a poster on this type of the scenario or in this type of uh, department make sure to make it why not it is very nice right next now why you are doing this poster so this question you should have in your mind from the beginning because many students do posters just for the certificate sake but so if the purpose of making a poster depends upon your passion it rates the success or get winning in the competition your purpose of making poster will change will have an effect on the attitude you show hard work you show sweat and blood you show for the poster presentation that determines the winning of your poster the type of poster right so why you are doing this poster there are many reasons number 1 to show your research how it can or has a positive impact to society spread awareness and importance of your research or second to get an investor or a sponsor for your project to implement in large scale or pilot study third to win the contest fourth to have experience of participating and know where you stand among other people some people will be like that and others to just to get certified to keep in resume i know why that's why i'm keeping this at the last because this is very important if you have the um, clear mindset of why you are making poster okay then that that is a turn around game changer in your every step you make you take for making a poster right next now what efforts you keep in making poster before only you know then i think you will genuinely uh, make the poster only when needed but not where you will not waste your time money stress intel right intelligence 
you are sh sharing your intelligence, you are having so much, taking so much stress, nervousness, anxiety, doing the post presentation, before making post presentation, okay, you are spending money on uh, the post uh, paint, printing, okay, time, and yeah, by remembering time, I want to say that, make your poster ready two days before itself, not the day before, that now today 12 o'clock conference poster presentation is there you will be making your poster ready at 10 o'clock don't do like that make it ready one or two days before two days before is very fine the stress will be halved because you have done so much in collecting data so much energy because of this stress the productivity of representing will be reduced so don't do that just do two days before and make a pre poster ready okay do practice in front of mirror how to present uh, okay make a timer of three minutes to gist out everything what you want to tell the important points you want to tell tell it in front of mirror practice it three minutes uh, you can keep an alarm right next now how to deliver present your poster to the invigilator that is very important i have already told how to do that because you are selling your product here comes the marketing even this why you are doing poster presentation one of the biggest advantage of doing presentations is you will become confident your personality changes you will be able to tell the good things about your product you may if you make the people buy the product only if you make them trust how to make them trust your product or test your data that depends upon the way you tell then only depending upon that how you sell your product you, the chances of winning will be determined right next now uh, the things which are matter number one is your confidence posture you if you have done a really hard work if you have genuinely collected your data everything you have done by yourself confidence will come by nature okay it will come by nature it will be shown in your the way you communicate so confidence posture should be there always your eye contact with the invigilator should be there okay if they are asking something listen to them carefully have an eye contact tell them whatever you know don't bluff because you have 99 percent you have worked hard one percent if you don't know also it's fine okay but then genuinely your communication the way you communicate your content comes last that's what content very important but while you are delivering while you are selling your product the other main three things are very important now in your content i am telling the when the invigilator is in front of you now you tell just the abstract information only you tell that from the abstract you make it more abstract small direct simple if they are interested if they have got hooked up they will ask you then you elaborate no problem right so you have to tell within three minutes what it is about what the poster is about the intro why it is important tell the problem that is the purpose of the pro that poster or the research whatever theory or a case report tell the problem what you did the methodology that uh, what i'm trying to say okay what you did how you solved the problem or how you can overcome the problem conclusion that's it Tell that within three minutes, practice before in front of mirror, in front of people, before the invigilator comes during the conference, and then in front of invigilator, just tell it nicely. Done with a smile. That is important, right? So I hope you have learned a lot from this poster presentation, how to make a poster, how to present it, and why it is important to make posters, how it is beneficial to you in future, right? So thank you and more topics I will be coming with. So stay tuned if you like the content, subscribe to